Hey everyone, Mark here, the Canadian Gamer, and this is my first playthrough, first run through of WayForward's brand new Mummy Demastered. Uh, I am I'm so excited to play this game. I love these kind of Demastered titles. Uh, this one is released today, right now, October 24th. It's for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, which is what I'm playing it on, and of course on Steam for PC. Um, the game's going to be about $20 US, and uh, this is, I, I'm so excited to play this right now, so let's get into it. Uh, it's loose, loosely tied into the Universal Monster Pictures with uh, with Tom Cruise, but it's, it's really not um, it's really tied in. So I actually haven't seen this movie. I kind of wanted to, but didn't. So we'll, uh, I, I really don't think you need to. All right, so, so far, pretty easy controls. A is to do this roll, Y is to shoot, B is to jump, and so far X does absolutely nothing. Hmm. <laughs> it says any direction there, but it is really not any direction. It is very specific directions. You can literally see I'm actually going in a full circle on the, uh, the control stick, which is not my preferred method of playing this. I control prefer a control pad, so that's what I'm going to be using for the most part, but I just wanted to see how lateral the movement is. Uh, yeah, let's get in there. Hmm, interesting. Wow, you don't need to keep saying that. I don't know what's triggering that animation there. I'm not pressing anything new. So that's kind of weird. It really wants me to know I can jump ledges. Very contra, mm. contra esque. <laughs> One thing the uh, controls are pretty easy to figure out, so I don't need. I don't think they need this kind of tutorial thing. I think that, that's actually kind of taking me away from the retro vibe of this whole thing, but the, the environments, the game, everything looks amazing so far. Very retro feel. And very similar to Tiny Barbarian. Oh, wow, these guys are alive now. Okay, this is happening. Um, similar to Tiny Barbarian, where it would feel at home on the, uh, the Super Nintendo Classic.
Okay, so all my friends are now at this. I kind of figured the spiders wouldn't be. There's another thing there. Whoa! Good for an undead zombie no, man. Okay, alright. Great HD run. Hey, Grouchy Surge. I don't think you guys can see that. He just popped up on my screen. He's playing Steam World Dig 2. Another fantastic indie title. I'm my friends at the Angel Form. There we go, all right. First stage. This is like ripped straight out of the Super Nintendo era. Like, loosely related game couple of the same words and stuff like that but it's like there's no characters there's no nothing like that's uh, this is just fantastic I mean way forward do such amazing games um, you know I th they're they're responsible for the Shantae series and I love that series I love those games they know their retro stuff kind of don't want to shoot this bird but at the same time I kind of feel like I should So I do know that the game is non-linear, so that means it's kind of Metroidvania-esque. And if you go back and listen to the conversation I had with Grouchy Surge on the Greatest Games Ever episode uh, last week, you will hear all about Castlevania. Where the Metroidvania games kind of get the name. Great conversation, just wanted to plug that one. Go back, greatest games ever. One thing I do find weird, let me show you this. When you go up and an A button on the screen is kind of blurry. I've been noticing this in a few retro games and it's kind of throwing me off, it's kind of weird. Um, a lot of the text and a lot of the things on screen do look retro, but they're, they're things that you can't, couldn't have been done. I don't know if the these like blurred buttons are, are on purpose or not but it's uh, it's kind of weird when you get high definition screens all over the place and uh, you still have things that are blurry um, so I'm curious Do, does anyone actually like that much detail in, in these games or is that something that you can just kind of leave back in that era Oh, what the f 
brush hell is this? I think, uh, I think my face is blocking where you can see the health on screen, um, but those little red dots are, in fact, health pickups. This one from 59 to 64. Those big dots are very reminiscent of Castlevania. Okay, that's not a great... Fish are not friends. I really thought that would be mapped to X. Super strange. Alright, I'm gonna go throw a grenade at Three percent. All right. So I've been playing for about 15 minutes. I'm about three percent in. I'm do the math about how long this is gonna take. Pretty decent. So far, I like to give my little mini review in these 15-minute playthrough sessions. And I might make this one a little bit longer just because the game's pretty cool. But uh, so far, so good. There's, uh, there's definitely a lot to like. So once you get past that initial kind of wordy tutorial thing, um, it really, really gets good. Very old school vibe, like so many indie games are. Oof. 
comments what you're naming your big face of super soldier I don't know is it gonna be Terry maybe something else Not too shabby. So we had initial reviews on this one, or initial thoughts, I guess, not an initial review. But, uh, I mean, even an initial review, you know, it's uh, just what it looks like so far. There may be some surprises later, but if you're looking for a great Metroidvania style game, this is gonna this is gonna tickle my itch for sure. one of those dudes like straight up let's go back and find that guy A little bit of choppiness too. I'm surprised by that. Just to be 100% honest. It's not really taking away much from my enjoyment of the game so far, but kind of surprised by it. There we go. Swap weapons. That's what X does. I'm glad I went back.
all that one looks like. So, no, unlike Metroid, they, uh, well, they, they lock, I don't know. There's some locked between, uh, behind weapons, like we saw with the grenades, and then there's some other stuff that's just straight up locked, so. Very cool progressive progression system. Oh, shoot. Tough, but not impossible platforming. In between uh, stuff like the Super Nintendo Classic, uh, Tiny Barbarian, so many other games, there's there's no real shortage of uh, retro goodness in this. Uh, you know, that might not be exactly your thing, but it is certainly mine. I appreciate it. I love it. It's awesome. And uh, this game's fitting right in. You heard my talk with uh, with Jeff Ball about retro games and this whole kind of Super Nintendo throwback style.
next week. percent half hour so I'm progressing pretty quickly but not too quickly very good balance I think that's where I'm gonna leave this video for now that is about the first 27 minutes or so of uh, of mummy demastered um, this is a great game so far I'm really enjoying it I'm gonna be putting some more hours into this one let me know if you're picking it up um, and I definitely suggest you do if you like Castlevania Metroid style games, if you like old school shooters, it's giving me very like contra feels with the way you can shoot and run and gun and that kind of stuff. Again, it's out October 24th. By the time you're watching this, it'll be out today. Um, it's $20 US available on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and of course, the best way to play, in my opinion, Nintendo Switch. Hopefully you pick this one up, check it out uh, way forward. It definitely deserves some praise for this one. It is really, really cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give me a subscribe, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Follow Warp Whistle Gaming on Facebook. Uh, join the, the community there, join the group, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, the underscore warp whistle, and we'll see you next time.